Dendrobium belongs to a large genus of orchids which is widely cultivated for its beautiful flowers varying in white, yellow, pink, purple and red. Due to its growing demand, it has the highest selling value in the cut flower market. In India, there is a wide gap between demand and supply which is being met from Thailand. Dendrobium grows well in high altitude regions preferring cool and humid conditions. This limits dendrobium to grow in plains as it requires optimal growing conditions. Employing naturally ventilated polyhouses, it is possible to grow dendrobium on a commercial scale. There are two critical phases that has to be taken care of during crop development. One is growth phase and the other is flowering phase. Dendrobium normally requires 20 to 25 degrees Celsius during its growth phase and 19 to 21 degrees Celsius during its flowering phase. Along with temperature, the relative humidity should also be maintained at 60 to 80 percent. Dendrobium is usually grown on open benches that have good air circulation. These benches are fabricated with GI pipes supported by 50% shade net with misters having 15 liters per hour discharge capacity at the bottom and spinners at the top with a discharge capacity of 200 liters per hour. GI benches are 1 to 1.2 meter wide maintained at a height of 1 meter from the ground with bench to bench spacing of 0.5 to 0.8 meter. Coal of 8 mm sieve is used as a media for dendrobium orchard. For 1 square meter, 10 kg of coal is required. Dendrobium is a terrestrial epiphytic plant. Epiphytes are plants that grow on other plants, typically trees, without causing any harm to their host. The characteristic feature is it has velamen roots which absorbs moisture and nutrients from the atmosphere. Hence, there is no direct or special irrigation requirement to dendrobiums. It takes from the humidified atmosphere being provided daily through spinnets and misters. Based on outside climatic conditions, an average daily operation of spinnets and misters need to be followed. During summer, spinners and misters should be operated once in an hour for 3 to 4 minutes between 11 am to 5 pm. During rainy and winter, they should be operated for 2 to 3 minutes once in every 2 to 3 hours. As plants won't withstand any single droplet of water, it should be left completely dried. Fertilizer and nutrient application are done through foliar spray and media drenching at respective time intervals. Sucking complexes like thrips and mites are the major pests in orchids. Bacterial and fungal rots are also observed. As per the incidence of pests and diseases, control measures can be taken up. Flowering starts 6 months after plantation. During first year, the crop yields two stems per plant, followed by four stems per plant in second year. From third year onwards, the plant yields six to eight stems per plant. On an average, the anticipated yearly yield per 0.25 acre of area is 60,000 stems. If each flower stock is valued at a price of rupees 10, it would yield a total gross income of 6 lakhs. Excluding initial investments, the operational cost for a year incurs around 0.9 lakhs and thereby fetching a net income of 5.1 lakhs.